morning everybody. Today we're going to be reviewing the Milwaukee Rolling Toolbox Packout. Uh, this is actually what I use on all my side jobs that I do is Milwaukee Packout System. So I'm, I have high hopes for it and we'll see what happens. So with that being said, we'll go and jump straight into the specs. All right, so the specs for the Milwaukee Packout, 250 pound weight capacity, width 22.1, length 18.6, height without handle extended, 25.6, height with handle extended, 44 and 1 8th. Weight is 23.4 pounds, cubic inch storage inside the box only, 3,596.7, wheel size, nine inch all-terrain wheels, this price is $139, so it, it is definitely the higher end as far as cost goes. And again, with warranty, I could not find... I know Milwaukee has warranties on tools and all... Every, every, la, 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 la. I know Milwaukee has warranties on tools and all that kind of stuff, but again, I could not find specifically where it said what their warranty was for the pack out. So, like I said, if, they, if I find that information out later, I'll put it in the video or in the description somewhere. But as of right now, I could not find where it specifically stated the warranty for the pack out. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the testing. On this one, I done it outside. I didn't have my microphone in yet, so the audio is very crappy. So, for this test, we just dropped it out of the back of the, my pickup truck. It's, uh, I think it was right around like 46 and a half inches. We put 50 pounds of weight in it and just a true 50 pounds the only damage that you can see in the video well the only damage it was was the tray itself the tray broke and that was it it didn't crack nothing else of that nature it was just fine and it moved it just fine definitely not going up any stairs with it though but the axles they did not get bent like most of the others did it rolled just fine. There was no issues moving it back and forth. Overall, done fantastic. And like I said, the weight capacity the manufacturer recommends is 250 pounds, and we basically doubled that with no problem at all. We're going to be the drop test. We have a 39 pound concrete block that we're going to drop on top of the pack out uh, three times from six foot. And one time from eight foot and see what kind of damage it does. Number two. Drop number three. Well, I don't know how big the block is now because uh, it just got destroyed. Oh, it's still heavier. Okay. So it's not a 30 pound block, and 39 pound block anymore. Uh, go ahead and wait real quick for this last drop. So we're 24 pounds now. We're gonna go from about eight foot, give or take. See what happens. As far as damage goes from the cylinder block test, uh, we, we did do the three drops with the 39 pound concrete block. On the last drop, it destroyed it in half. That was my last concrete block I had. So uh, I weighed out the two blo half blocks I had 
and I used whichever one I felt heaviest and it was 24 pounds and then we done the 8 foot test with the one that was 24 pounds. As far as damage goes, nothing major. No cracks, nothing like that. Uh, the only bad thing it really did, and I guess it's not even bad considering, is if you look right here to the side, right there and there, you got some heavy gashes, but still it doesn't affect anything. It's Everything else still attaches to it. Like I said, it's just there. And then I think you have a few scuffs right here, but like I said, I use this box every week, so I can't tell you exactly if these little scuffs are from the block or from me using it. Uh, but I can tell you for sure, those two right there are from the drop test. So as far as damage goes on the Milwaukee rolling toolbox from the drop, the cylinder block test, that's it, nothing. Nothing at all. Which honestly surprised me. I was... I had my doubts that it was going to bust through. But it proved me wrong. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and jump into the next thing and go from there. Overall, in my opinion, the Milwaukee Rolling Toolbox gets a 9 out of 10. And the only reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because the tray broke. Other than that, everything else is, was phenomenal on it that held up to all the tests it didn't break other than the tray it's like i said that's the only reason it's getting a nine not a ten uh, the only bad not really even bad just the cost the cost is higher than the most of the others uh, but also most of the others i tested were junk or broke etc etc the only one that is even close and might be better than Milwaukee is the Cabolt toolbox, which is hard to say, but it also done all the tests and did not break at all. It is less money, but it does not hold as much. And nor do you also have all of the other accessories, accessories that you get with Milwaukee. Milwaukee has a much bigger line, much bigger, much more options out there than to any other company to my knowledge. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with getting the Milwaukee pack out toolbox. It's great. Other than the cost is a little bit much, but I mean, you've seen it held up, done everything just fine compared to the others. That and I guess that is one thing we were talking like as far as cost. Like this is one hundred and like thirty nine dollars. The others, yeah, you'll save money, but at what cost? You're only saving twenty, thirty, maybe fifty bucks when I've already shown all the others that are cheaper don't last. Perfect example, the Master Force. This thing was $80. And half of that damage was from the drop of the, out of the back of a truck. The other half was from the cylinder block on top of it from the ladder so yeah my opinion is don't cheap out i would just spend the money and get the milwaukee or the cabal the cabal like i said is i guess it's 115 dollars uh, you can watch my video on that somewhere the description in the video i don't know how i'm going to do it yet because i don't know how to do it yet but with that being said if you guys like the video uh, like it comment whatever if there's testing that you want to see me do that I've not done or tools you want to see me test, let me know in the comments. Most of the stuff I'm doing right now is just stuff I've thought of. I've not had input from anybody really yet. So hopefully one of you guys will change that. And that's all I got. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.